Hey everybody, Maria here with The Fourth Dimension. Thanks for joining me. Couple things. Uh, one, I wanna just send a huge shout out to every single one of you who has uh, reached out to me to offer condolences, heartfelt thank yous. I have to move this, I'm so sorry. And uh, just general appreciation for each and every one of you. I don't even know how I even uh, got to a place where you all got to know me so well and little Sophie. Um, and my uncle, and uh, super appreciate, just super appreciate all the love and kindness and support. I'm just doing a general reading, believe it or not. I'll try to get the weekly out um, as soon as I can. I wanted to uh, let you know this is a sponsored, I am actually being sponsored on this video, can you believe it? Uh, by Timu, the actual name is Temu, right? But uh, Timu. And uh, several of the products that I chose that are tarot specific, because I am such a junkie for cards. I am, it's a problem. I almost have enough cards to match my shoe and my lipsticks. So I'm pulling cards. This one is, um, if you wanted to look at them, it's called the Real Life Tarot Deck. And if you can see, they're just situations that you would deal with in life, just pictures. Um, I am a fan of Timu, let me tell you why. One, uh, there is uh, free shipping, you gotta love that. Um, and then again, if you don't like it, you just ship it back, boom. Um, they take all credit cards, so it's safe. They also uh, provide um, quality products, which I also like. So that being said, when I purchased um, cards from the places uh, online, we'll just say they were, like four times as much as what I'm paying on Timu. So I can have a variety, right? Secondly, um, is they also have a large variety of cards to choose from. So I like this. So I'm gonna do the first one here. The second deck, I've never seen these before, but these are panoramic. Look at that. So it's the Rider Waite deck, but it's the panoramic deck. And a lot of you will ask me a lot about the cards, like where'd you get them? How do I find them? List the name, and I'm terrible about doing it, so I'll try to take a minute. But these are the panoramic. Um, I've never seen cards like this, so uh, it's very similar to the up, up, you know, the standard version. But these are on the bottom. So tell me about the generic. If you're if you're interested, I will add a description in the description box below. There will be a link, I am sure, to um, grab these, um, and you can you can surely browse it yourself. So hopefully uh, you'll like some of the products I found. Tell me about the collective. So real quick, right off the bat, I haven't even pulled a card yet. I have Nausea, the Revolving Door uh, Receipts, and it's a return receipt, the Gaslight, and the Taser. So in the bottom of the deck is Microdoser. Okay, so I don't know if you can all see these. These are the coolest cards. So here we are. So I kind of want to tell you what my heart's feeling. Yep, I have the uh, Ten of Wands or the Nausea. Somebody, I feel, is getting busted, okay? So I, I kind of got this energy the last time I did a reading. Actually, not the one I did in the Black Hills, but the one before that. And it was about somebody um, having to do like ending a relationship, right? Which we have the 10 of um, ten of wands, but it's also being gaslit and possibly being tased or at least feeling like it. I feel like somebody busted somebody else out on, on um, cheating. That's the vibe I get. And then they have the receipts, the texts, the, the phone calls, the maybe even video. I kind of get the video, like somebody saw somebody else walk into some other place uh, with somebody else on their arm and it was just a shock. Um, and I'm, I feel like the nausea is made, not only did it make them feel sick, but the micro dosing is also somebody I feel is being, um, you know, we call it a lot like black magic, but I also believe, and I mentioned this a while ago, it's the same feeling, is if you ever had somebody try to manipulate a situation um, in a relationship where you were sent black magic or negative thoughts or um, but I feel like in this in this situation, there's money. There's a lot of money at hand, and somebody is wanting. Yeah, somebody was wanting uh, somebody to re remain with them due to security, and the other person found out that their person is cheating on them, um, and they're devastated. Now that being said, the reason why that person wanted to stay with them uh, for cheating, and I feel like it's a couple. 
So I have a male and a female in my mind, okay? And the male and a female are together and the female is connected to the male trying to keep this male tethered to her. Okay. As a result, she wants the money, the property, whatever there is in this financial blessing they see. Um, yeah, a conflict. Um, that's part of the story. Several of you also are probably ending out a karmic cycle with somebody who's a chronic cheater, chronic liar, um, and quite honestly dealing with addiction, fighting, uh, possibly gaslighting and, um, and tasing like fighting, like I kind of get the sense of somebody, like there's a handful that might have escalated to a fist fight or a verbal fight or a, um, like a, a full fledged, you know, full fledged brawl and uh, police were involved. Um, and I feel like this person said enough, I'm not dealing with it. And the person who was initiating the fight pointed the finger at the other person and said, they're the culprit. They took, he or she took the first swing when it was reality the other way around. So descriptive cards that are defining the oracles. I have the Ten of Wands, somebody's dropping this. I have the Ten of Swords not making, or the Ten of Cups not making them happy anymore than the Nine of Cups actually. The Five of Wands, the conflict, the challenges, the constant bickering, bitching, fighting. The Two of Pentacles, um, not accepting the hot and in and out, hot and cold juggling act. I'm not juggling this anymore. I'm gonna go and get a new pentacle off the three of wands and somebody's gonna accept a new relationship. So I feel like somebody's finally finding the receipts. The receipts I also feel are tied to this black magic. Now, not everybody's doing black magic on somebody else, but maybe this is just for one person, but this is black magic, these four cards. Um, so I feel like somebody has been manipulated by a third party, chose somebody wrong. Yep, got the devil, um, the seven of swords. And I got a bonus card. Oh, it's the Seven of Cups right there. So somebody who's stuck in addiction, God intervenes. I got the Temperance card. God, somebody's now being left out in the cold. Um, somebody walked away from somebody else because they were drawn in by somebody who is a little bit more sexual, codependent, right? Easier. You, not, sorry, but I'm just going to keep it real. It was an easy choice. Somebody didn't have to change if they chose this person. As a result, there was some effery that happened behind the scenes where they wanted to keep this person remaining in the relationship beneficial to them. So I have this person who um, will say a divine masculine who chose this non-divine uh, fe feminine, this um, karmic, we'll say, feminine, um, and this divine masculine chose this uh, karmic over a divine feminine because it was easier to go with this route than change. Now they're in a committed relationship, possibly financial gain, um, and somebody is actually doing black magic and um, cheating on this person or has history of cheating. I feel like there are some receipts found not only about the cheating, but also about the black magic. The micro dosing is here. Oh, look, putting it in their drink. Absolutely. Wearing a mask, not even, can't even make this up. Um, the rooster, you might be the year of the rooster like me. Um, so that is kind of important. And the rooster also, um, cause I kind of get the zodiac sign is, um, if you're around roosters that, you know, they, um, there might be somebody who blows a whistle um, just like a rooster does um, when it's 4.30 in the morning and it's time to wake up. Maybe this is the wake up call as somebody told somebody else about um, the devil. Here we are, the landlord. So there might be a third party involved that is messing with the financial. I feel somebody might be homeless. Somebody might have been homeless. Um, they got kicked out. There is some, um, some strong um, convictions based on they're not going to go forward. This is a surprise, that's a tower. And I have the tower falling over the gaslight. So somebody might have said, hey, that wasn't me, that was so-and-so. Or I wouldn't have done this if they wanted to said this. I wouldn't have swung. I wouldn't have tased the person if they didn't come after me um, or verbally assault me. Um, so this is a very horrific case. So this is a fight. This is a full-fledged just fight. Um, somebody's trying to be um, manipulative. With their, with their words and actions trying to get away. Tell me about this situation, thank you. I have, somebody's gonna come in off of this brand new Ace of Cups. I think this person, this divine masculine, is looking back at the situation saying this was a headache. They spent some time in meditation and they understand 
that there is a divine inter um, intervention where they're kind of looking at this. Um, now they want something traditional. Maybe this was an open relationship that nobody really agreed upon or it was an agreed upon open relationship with multiple players. Um, whatever this was didn't turn out best for this divine masculine. Now they're going back inward to discern what it, why am I left out in the cold? Why do I keep choosing wrong things? And there's a, there's a spiritual awakening. That's this, change. Um, so I have the, the Knight of Wands coming in with the Ace of Cups, with the Two of Cups, with the Two of Wands mm, to heal this, the Three of Swords, previous relationship that was left in the cold. I can't make this up, you all. Man, I love, I love tarot. So this is um, somebody who had to heal this devil. I have, um, hmm, is that right? Yeah, the BS artist. Okay, so that's kind of the person as I see it. And I kind of get this as the Four of Cups too. It says uh, the blank Cupid. So I feel like somebody was not poisoned, but kind of, and it created um, like a longstanding issue in the hospital. Like this person spent some time in the ER. Um, and I feel like whatever they like, it's almost like they almost got like really sick from this. They might have even been considered terminal because they couldn't figure out what was going on with the person. They lost some weight. This might be in the past. I also feel like this is behind the person. So I feel like they found the reason and they might actually be suing somebody, um, the person. They might also be, um, they might, out, yeah, a criminal. They might be going after them legally. I feel like the cops are gonna arrest this person. Yeah, this is the world. This person, your divine masculine, I feel it's a divine masculine, is done with this relationship, this past um, trial. This was karmic in nature. There was some some lessons to be learned. Um, again, the Hierophant, or the, uh, hy no, yeah. Um, hmm, yeah, the Hierophant, what else do we have? Um, Tim, yeah, balancing out, and then we have the page of cups with the um, hermit. So somebody sitting in, I feel, a long state of what do I want? What do I desire? All I've ever wanted was feeling loved and, and um, honored and secured and give and take. And this person, the Divine Masculine, has never chose themselves. And that's kind of the vibe I'm getting is they never put themselves first. Um, they've always kind of had this self-centered belief system because they wanted what they wanted and they didn't really feel like they needed to change but on the flip side is that was the karma is sitting in in retrospect and kind of barely living through this you might have even warn the person about this um that this was happening in the background uh they sat in a full they're sitting right now in a bunch of anxiety wondering if you've moved on and they know that you um were the wish fulfilled that they it's the four of cups they passed you by um, they didn't choose what the divine handed them, um, and they're afraid they missed their blessing. Tell me more. I just want to do more shuffling. This is crazy. And it's true, though. This is the, I mean, I swear, this is like following a longstanding in and out player. I'm just going to call this divine masculine was not always divine and chose easier, softer ways. And now they're waking up to um, possibly ended up in the hospital. Um, who with who they thought would never hurt them only to find out, yeah, they not only physically hurt them, but they were cheating on them. So it was like a tower after tower. So they had multiple towers. Um, and now they're sitting in a space of quiet reflection, trying to discern what could they have done differently that would have brought this on. And this is a lifestyle. Um, yeah, this person, uh, I feel like this person is now just trying to figure out their life. They're trying to discern where they want to go. They might be looking at an out-of-state position. Um, the mixologist, they might be seeing that this person traveled for some of these. I kind of get there was some traveling involved with somebody long distance to make this uh, spell work happen. Um, they're creating a lot of anxiety. It created anxiety. I feel like there's, um, I hate to say this, but I still feel like there's some um, like pharmacological, some real pharmacological issues going on or more behaviors. So like there might be a pharmacist involved or somebody who knows a lot about pharmacist or pharmacy. Um, so I have an ADAS degree back in the day. Yeah, believe it or not, I was a uh, adolescent uh, drug, drug and alcohol counselor. 
way a long time ago, but you had to take a pharmacological uh, screening. So you had to understand about benzos and that sort of thing. This person also has that same information. So either a nurse or somebody who's manipulating, mm -hmm, somebody who's manipulating position or me medication that they had on hand um, and they were mixing it in their drink. I feel like there might be an antipsychotic medication. There might be a bipolar medication. Now, if you're not bipolar, this will mess you up. I also have the S card. I gotta peek and see what this means. Your initial might begin with an S. Um, this kind of looks um, on the bottom, hold on. It has some writing on here. It could be a Bitcoin. Um, so this might have somebody who has a problem with uh, gambling or trying to create, um, I keep hearing gambling with somebody else's money. So this person might be an investor, but they're investing in Bitcoins or this was about money across seas, right? I feel like this is a large population of people trying to get forward. This is about money, that's what I felt. Um, delete, like this person is dropping, this divine masculine is dropping these relationships immediately. Like all of this karma started when this um, divine masculine got lured away, right? By a karmic who said, I'm gonna make your life easier, better, softer. I'm gonna take care of you. I'm gonna provide for you. You're going to be rich, this, that, and the other. And this person bought the BS. And um, they got caught in a BS. This person can't sleep at night. And these activities happened, I feel, during the middle of the night. Um, maybe they were buying stuff online or there was a lot of, there was a lot of electronic, I see a lot of effery with somebody trying to hack into somebody else's computer and data. And I feel like somebody's uh, financials, um, look at that, it's a safe where the top popped off. Yeah, this is crazy. So it's like where the safe is broken into. So somebody broke into the safe, yeah. Um, somebody I feel like um, is trying to be a comedian and you know, like this might be somebody's mom is involved as well. Um, or it could be a mom figure, whoever this um, karmic is. There's children involved, I feel. Um, anything else that you wanna share with me? About this interesting read. Yeah, somebody somebody totally, totally, not only two things I got, kept texts, number one, and the other one, screenshot, and the other one is uh, blocked, or yeah, like ghosted, blocked and ghosted. So somebody's texting somebody else, yeah, and they deleted the conversation. The irony is, is that if it was deleted, there's a way to hold on to those messages. I don't know if y'all knew that, yeah. There's also a way to find out if somebody is um, making up fake profiles, yeah. Just thought I'd share that with the collective here. So um, this is affecting somebody's like physical stomach issues. I'm drawn to this and they're losing their, like they're losing their weight. They're, they lost some weight. They might be gaining some weight now. Like if I feel like this is like, I can share this now because all the secrets came out, right? Um, yeah, alien, they felt like an alien. Look at how gray they are. I also feel like this person, um, doesn't recognize themselves anymore. Like they don't, they look in the mirror and they don't even recognize themselves. Somebody might be a heavy smoker. There might be a heavy smoker in the mix. Um, yeah, and they don't know there's just fake amongst the team. Um, I feel like, like I'm being called one more, one more out of here. What's the outcome of the situation spirit? I'm being called to kind of close this out. I might put up another video here in a bit. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this was a team effort. This was a collaboration right here. And it was about money and somebody was being super, super conservative. And this was also about love in the reverse, not coming forward. Um, somebody might be have sat on their feelings for a divine feminine here. And they, the other person, the karmic, was super jealous because, not necessarily because they were jealous of the person, but because of what this represented. That divine masculine had some cash and some pentacles, it's king of pentacles. And so this whole group um, was really after that. They weren't after the guy, they were after what this guy represented. And it was a team effort, a collaboration to get the resources from the king of pentacles. This isn't about love, mm -mm. Sex is secondary, anybody can have sex. This is not what this is about. This was about a collaborated approach to harm and injure this divine masculine and remove any barrier to this uh, fortune that this team wanted to get. And there is a, it's a conspiracy, as you can see. 
Um, it is out now. I feel like there's investigators aware. There's a police involved. Um, there's phones that are tapped. I feel um, cars that are even being traced right here. Like all of this stuff is being watched. Now, here's the kicker. One member of this party has defected. That's this feeling. And they might have even gone into the police because they don't want to go to prison. So that's <laughs> for attempted murder, I'm just saying. So this is a lot. This is a lot going on here. Um, very interesting read for sure. I hope this doesn't resonate with anybody. I just feel like um, I needed to share this read today um, with my Timu cards. And I will probably put out a couple uh, more because I just love these. I love these decks. This is fun. Um, but it's a very interesting spread. Um, until next time, love and light to each and every one of you, and we'll talk soon. Take care.